Good morning. Smuzno here. Um, we're going down the shed. Oh. I'm trying to go down the shed, but I don't haven't got enough hands. Ugh, oh, sit rep. It's early. Well, it's about 10 o'clock on... I don't know what day it is because it's holiday day, so I don't care. And people are often saying to me, My Dave! Or Smuzno. Dave, mainly. Um, yours is a really big one. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, they're not referring to my cock at all. They're talking about my camera, which is much bigger than your average just kind of video camera, because it's a camera camera as opposed to... like a... Um, like a video camera. This is on, uh, on the other hand, uh, my Uncle Chris, who's recently got into uh, astrology, which is good. And I don't mean the kind of uh, gay, read your stars out astrology, because that's, as we all know, a load of rubbish. It doesn't matter. The alignment of the stars has nothing on the bearing of your day. The only thing that has anything on the bearing of your day is how you go about it. He does, on the other hand, like the stars in the sky. Now he's gone and got that. What the fuck is that? What is it? It's a sky watcher. I love this. Look at that. That's just incredible. Look, it's got like a fucking turbo engine in the end of it. This is his goddamn camera. And he can take a like a Canon camera that everyone uses to... To film stuff and you can actually click it on the end of his kaleidoscope thing what's it called telescope not kaleidoscope kaleidoscope will be all pretty colors and you can take photos of the sky at night with oh, how good is that oh why did we come down here it's christmas i'm gonna do a bit of a video later on it's gonna be after this little bit i'm gonna try and try and keep it short i never keep anything short do it just Love it. Look. And uh, airbrush. Airbrush. I'm probably wobbling the camera around. I'm probably feeling quite sick now, aren't you? Yes, that'll learn you to watch my crap. Hmm. Um. <coughs> Cling on, bird of prey. Let me see if I can pose it any better. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take this and there. Right, so we started off with just this sort of crappy colour. Now, I have spent hours, which is a lie, but minutes, definitely all sorts of minutes, um, trying to fix this goddamn seam line, which I can, I've rubbed this down three times now, puttied and rubbed. No, I can't putty because there's nothing to actually sort of get in. <sighs> going to give it another try. Uh, I've got my new airbrush! Look, there's my Badger 200 and my airbrush little boxy thing. I'm in love with you! Um, so I started, I'm being very wobbly. I'm very sorry, the light in here is crap as well. I'm not using the spray cans anymore, trust me. So I started doing a bit of paint and I got quite into the bit of paint. I'm, I'm blocking, it's a fucking chair, I'm swearing, it's holiday, I don't care. Uh, uh, mm. So I started with just some ordinary everyday sort of green colour uh, for two reasons. One, a lot of the early Klingon ships were sort of green. Two, the bottles were on sale, cheap, for one ninety nine each, and I thought it would make some lovely undercoat, which it does, it's good. Uh, but then I got really into it, and I got really used to the way the airbrush was working, and I was in the sort of, I was in the flow, man! I was, I was, I was rolling! Uh, so while I had all the pressure and everything set up nicely, and the spray set up nicely, I, um, I got on with a bit of, sort of, pre-shading. And now I've got a dirty looking, I've been in space and I've been fighting my ass off kind of spaceship looking thing. Uh, very pleased. I'm going to get on with some more now. Um, frankly, I could be laying in. But then at the same time, where would be the fun in that? Because I can be up doing stuff. Um, I'm going to go and spray some shit now. TTFN. Big up your bad so.